Hey guys, what's up? How you going? Today I am going to be talking about my new favourite app, my favourite app out there, and that is Notion. Now Notion's been around for quite some time now, probably a couple of years, probably more than that actually, I have no idea. But um, Notion is basically a really, really good all-in-one productivity app, and today I'm going to be talking to you about why I use it, why you should be using it, and uh, how you can just simply set it up yourself. Apart from that, let's get into the video right now. So Notion is a productivity app that is far more capable and flexible than any other out there. It's set up with pages, these pages consist of blocks and these blocks can be either text, bullet points, number lists, a to-do list item, a calendar, a table, a code block, a page or many other things and because you can put pages inside of pages you can form the biggest hierarchy you want unlike Evernote which only has stacks and notebooks. So the best description that I can give you of this app is that it is literally the best and ultimate productivity app out there. The second question that I want to answer in this video is why use Notion? Is it really as good as you're making it look? And the answer is yes, but <laughs> I'll tell you the reasons. The first one being that it is now free for personal use whereas it used to be limited to a thousand blocks for free and that got used up pretty quickly if you want to be committed to the app but now it is free for personal use and the only time it costs money is if you want to add a bit more storage or if you want to actually um, use it for your team. So the price by itself isn't really the best selling point although it is good that it's free. <laughs> but the main reason I think that Notion is the best productivity app is that it's the all-in-one. You can use it for anything that you can think of for productivity. You can use it as your calendar, your to-do list, a habit tracker, your notes, your, your personal wiki. You can use it for really anything that you can think of because it is so customizable. As well as the functionality, it also has a really nice user interface that is really customizable. You can make it look as good as you want or as like artistic as you want because it's so customizable but you can also have a dark and a light mode which is I mean always a good feature to have. Another reason Notion is my favorite productivity app is that it is really customizable and so customizable that it can be used as a substitute for a bullet journal. Now in the past I've used the bullet journal quite a bit and it's because it was so customizable and I could use it for my to-do list, my schedule, my habit tracker all in one but I kind of got frustrated because I wanted it to, you know, sync between different devices, but it can't because it's a book. And I had to carry it around with me all the time, and I could easily lose it if I left it somewhere. I'll never be able to find it again. I'm also a big sucker for productivity apps, that's just who I am, so I can't really help that. But that is why Notion is the best app, because it's, like, perfect digital bullet journal. Now, although there are mostly upsides to using Notion, there are some downsides. The first being that it has a much higher learning curve than other apps such as Todoist and Evernote. Because of its high learning curve, it can intimidate a lot of people and it can waste a lot of time, which is why a lot of people actually have called it the app that like wasted time. I don't really know what they actually called it, but basically that it wastes your time because it is such a complicated app. To an extent this is true, and for quite a while it was true for me because I was wasting my time on it trying to learn how to use it, but if I had have gone on YouTube it would have been a lot faster, and I have created weekly and daily reviews that allow me to do this in just a couple of minutes each day or each week. So if you're a student, this is the perfect app for you because you can use it to plan your projects, your semester, your class notes, whatever you can think of you can use Notion for. You can use it for Active Recall and I'm thinking of doing a video on that in the future so stay tuned for that. But it's also a great app for anyone else, even if you're not a student, you can use it as your personal planner, your calendar, your to-do list, anything. Like, like I said, it's the all-in-one. I don't want to ramble on about it too much but it is such a great app that if I had learned, I'm trying to learn how to code and it was, the main reason was because I wanted to make an app like this, but now that Notion is av available for free and it is such a good app, I don't really see any reason, but I still want to code because I want to know how to do that, but um, yeah, let's stop talking about that because that's not what this video is about. So yeah, Notion is probably the best app for anyone, no matter where you are, no matter what circumstance you're in because it is customizable to any situation you can be in, so yeah go and give it a try, that is my opinion. <laughs> okay, now for this part of the video, I wanna explain how you should go about setting up your Notion accounts. I don't wanna go into detail in the app, like how you should actually do it like practically, but I do wanna give you a few steps on setting the app up after you've created your account. 
So first of all, get a pen and paper and just write down what you actually want to use the app for because you want to know what its uses are going to be for you before you actually go in and dive into setting it all up because you might set things up that you don't need and you might not set things up that you actually do need. Although Notion does have a calendar feature, I actually still go with Google Calendar for this because, I don't know, it's just not as good enough yet and yeah, Google Calendar has always been really good so I'm sticking with that. And also, I still do use Evernote for a few old files that I just haven't been bothered to bring over to Notion, although I should probably do that and Notion has made it really simple to do that because it has this like import from Evernote feature, so that's, yeah, really cool. Okay, so once you've written down what you want to actually use Notion for, you want to next write down, still with pen and paper, how you're actually going to organize all this. I made kind of a brainstorm graph where I had a HQ or my homepage, the main page which I put everything else under and then under that I listed all the areas of my life and then under those anything else that I needed. This worked for a few days but then I saw this video that really inspired me to actually start using it as a to-do list as well and I'll leave the video link in the description below if you want to watch that as well. I'll definitely go and check it out because it is pretty good. Um, but basically I then changed that setup that I had written down and it didn't really take long but um, yeah now it works much better and I'm using it for my to-do list and for any, any events that I have that day. Okay, so once you've written it down on paper, you want to actually go and set it up in the app and this shouldn't be shouldn't take too long, it should be pretty simple at first. Um, it might be a bit hard, but if you need any help, just go and check some tutorials on YouTube because there are plenty out there. Don't be afraid to try new things out in Notion because it has so many features. You don't learn them straight away because it's going to take a long time. Now, I'm sorry the sun just came out. That is very, very frustrating. It's a cloudy but clear day. There's really dark clouds, and then there's no clouds, and then there's another really dark cloud, and it goes on and on. I'm just going to try to wait for the next cloud, and then film as much as I can, and then stop again. This is really frustrating, because it's winter. The sun's, like, right there. Yeah. Okay, so, sorry guys, but I'm going to have to end the video here because I was relying on natural light and the effect, cushioning effect of the clouds to kind of smoothen out the lights and uh, the clouds failed me and um, ran away, so I am, oops, that was not good. I'm now using, like, straight natural light and it's just, like, really bright. I don't know if you can see that, but it is, like... Yeah, so you can tell. You can tell it's really bright and I just didn't, I just couldn't stand like having the sun right in my face. It was really annoying. But anyway, I hope this has encouraged you to try out Notion, at least just for a, a day or so, just to see how you like it. Personally, I think it is the all-in-one, the ultimate productivity app out there and I don't see myself changing anytime soon. Goodness, this is actually getting really hard to hold. I'm using a big tripod to hold because I don't actually have like a... Uh, I don't know, but I don't know what they use, what it is, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, please let me know in the comments below if you do try Notion out or if you already use Notion. I'm very interested in what you guys, how you guys use Notion and stuff like that, so yeah, please let me know. If you like this video, please smash that like button, and also subscribe if you want more content like this. Also, follow me on Instagram, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Um, I have been trying to get better at my photography skills, so I am posting there a bit more regularly and I've only got a few pictures on there but um, yeah um, if you are into that please go follow me there but apart from that I'll see you in the next video